So I'm off round the back now to do a bit of chipping with the wood because there's a great big pile that needs doing. So that's going to be my little plan for today. I'll just take you over. The ESB have come and done some of the trees. So I'll walk you down there and show you what they've been doing. These big trees here are the ones that they've got to come back and do. They didn't allow themselves enough time. So <clears throat> I'll, I'll walk you down into the corner. We've got some nice wood chips for the garden when it's rotted down a bit. Because it's conifer chippings, I think you need to leave them for quite a while. But a nice pile. Here we go. So this is all really packed with trees this corner. And a lot of them fell down in the wind. It seems to come right through this bit. So they've left a little bit of overhang and taken it all down. What they needed to do was um, run a, an electric cable over to a house that's... I'll show you through the gap actually, it's quite a nice view. To run a cable for the uh, house over the back. I'll just show you. You won't be able to see the house, I don't think, but I'm going right in front of the bushes. It runs over the back there somewhere anyway, so all the trees were in the way. Such a lovely little view, but how lucky I feel. Anyway, let's go back to this bit. So this little corner now is all nice and clear and they've left some logs to be chopping up for the fire quite a big pile here look and more chippings in the tree there so this little bit of woodland is um, at the far side of the house but you could actually if you took all the lower branches off of everywhere it's a nice little forest look <laughs> it's lovely yeah so what I was thinking is um, the donkey's fencing the electric fence I might it runs along the edge there but I might take it into this bit in the corner and be an added bit of shelter for them and they'll probably mop up all the bits and pieces as well and they are looking <laughs> so that's uh, that corner anyway and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing in a minute we ordered another chipper. Hello, girl. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good girl. Yeah, I ordered a chipper that came the other day. So I'll show you the pile I've got to be doing. Just going up, up, up towards the polytunnel. Such a lovely day. Porrick, the builder's coming tomorrow. He's going to put um, a standpipe in from down there. So I'll be able to use the hose. And the jet wash to clean the polar tunnel. It's going a bit algae in places. Picked up these couple of little barrels yesterday. I'm going to store some tools in, in the polytunnel with them. 
this is what I'm doing today. This is the chipper. It's got um, a little box on the bottom that collects it all and then you just unclip it and tip it where you want it. I've got all my things still waiting to get going in here. There's a grapevine at the end there. That's I rescued that because I nearly stood on it. I planted it too near the door entrance. But it's sprouting up again. Let's see what it is today in here. There. Wow, nearly 20 degrees. Amazing. So warm in here, I'm going to have to take my coat off. I love being out here though, hearing the birds and everything. This is my view from sitting in the polytunnel. There's that raised bed I've got to put together. There's lots of bits and pieces to be doing and I like it, I enjoy it. Then now I've got a goat house to build. I shall paint all that before I put it together but um, I found a couple of good ones on Pinterest to show you how to make a little shelter. So I'll do a video of it when I do it as well. And uh, it should be good. Down into the local village and my neighbour brought his trailer and we got some pallets. What I want to be doing with them is um, I'm going to make a little goat hut shelter and get some baby goats. So looking forward to that.
splitting it into nice little bits, little squares. There's the odd long bit in there, but quite good. Really pleased with that. The pile's getting smaller. <laughs> I think it is. 